Now there's another school right here that I'm trying to get low enough for. What the hell is that on the screen? Was that the freaking Loch Ness Monster? Hey, hello everybody, Grace Boys, we're back with more of the Norwegian commercial fishing stack making snowing simulator. It's fishing Barents Sea. So some things have happened over here. Gray still fillets, looking stalwart and impressive as normal. Check it out though, new year. We're 2018 in the game and it's snowing. I didn't actually know that there would legitimately be, oh, is that a car in the background? I didn't know there was cars in this game. I never really like paid that much attention to the background. I guess there's a lot going on over there. Yeah, look at them, they're, they're heading down the road. They got brake lights on and everything. It is snowing right now. And you'll notice I have a ton of money, which is kind of important because I want to buy the next boat. I don't have enough to buy it. Well, I will have enough to buy it soon. Check out this next boat though, right over here. Now, is this the lunar bow or the lunar bow, I wonder? I feel like it would be bow because it's particularly boat-like in that sense. We're Lord of the Fish over at Hammerfest. I've got my reputation up a good amount in all the ports right now. I've been traveling all over the map, man. I've gone all the way north, too. It was pretty sweet. I was in open water and everything. Lord Legitimus Rex is who we shall soon be. Look at how insane this is. Besides costing 15 million kroners, I think that's how it's pronounced. I looked it up on the pronunciation website. That's what it said. This thing is 227 feet long. That is a stark difference from our 34 feet that we've been sitting at for a while. Look at the, hold on. Look at the fuel tank. 663,000 liters of fuel. This thing's rocking 8,000 horsepower. Move 19.1 uh, knots. The weight is insane. But the big thing is that we can do trawling with this, which I haven't tried in this game. I'm actually a little bit intimidated by it because I read about it. And it sounds like it's pretty cool, but also a pain in the ass. So how will we get this, you ask? Oh, the same way I get everything. Where's my, uh, yeah. Over here at the bank, we're gonna take out a big ass loan of 12 million well almost 12.5 million we have a large month repayment but it'll be fine guys we'll, we'll i hope we'll be making a lot of money so let us go ahead and take out the gigantic ass freaking loan and now that we have a stack on deck like we've never seen before we can go back over to the dock back over to the oh and i found out i don't even need to sell all like my stuff on here we keep all our old boats so like if I if we ever wanted to we can go back to the old uh, shark and or the the board whatever we can go back to those if we ever need to but damn it it's time to buy this one it's a different color too someone was saying why do all the boats look like they're normal boats but they were cut off they get like 50 percent off or something I have no idea um supposedly these boats are like taken after real life boats especially this one I guess this is an actual like real life like contractually certified i don't know they, they got they got the they got the okay to use this actual boat in the game but this one's actually a little bit bigger 227 feet compared to this one over here anyway let's go ahead and take this one out right over here congratulations on unlocking on unlocking and purchasing your first trawler lunar bow stores fresh fish in large tanks in the hull you're not able to gut freeze or stack them and they're sold by pumping them directly from the tanks when docking. You need at least four crew members. Okay, so luckily, I think there was a bunch of crew people sitting inside of the dock over here. Someone had said, get someone crappy as long as they have a lot of stamina. Eh, I could probably do that, I don't really care. I've been okay on stamina so far. Like, it, it hasn't been a big issue. Everyone works pretty fast right now too. My guys are pretty high level. I've been working them up. Like, a few of them are really good at gutting. A few of them are really good at stacking, you know how it is. Click yes below if you'd like to do the trawling tutorial. Okay, I'm gonna go do the tutorial. I'll be back in a second. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Come with me through the tutorial. Why not? So I'm supposed to go way the hell out here. I've actually been out here. I told you I was like going all over the place, unlocking different ports and stuff like that. There's one like way over here. Um, we have to go into the open ocean. I stopped over here to see if there was any new people to hire. We do have one new person. Like you guys said, she has fantastic stamina. She's not really good at very much else. But she has fantastic stamina. I have a bunch of burgers made. Uh, should we need them for any reason? I think that... Yeah, we're at 100%, so I don't have to worry about that. Let us continue onward. This thing has so much damn fuel, it is amazing. Oh, it's glorious. 
All right, almost out to the open waters. There we go. So when we travel far enough, an icon will appear at the right main HUD, which you can click to, to continue traveling to the open water. Click go to open water button now. All right, let's freaking do this. All right, go to open water. What happens now? Oh, mother of God, here we go. Oh, achievement unlocked. Discovered the troll area, yay. Now that you're in the open water, you're able to start trawling. The, op the optimal trawl speed for the lunar bow is four knots. Accelerate to the speed, then open the crew management, assign four people to set trawl, okay? Doesn't sound too hard. Let us uh, accelerate to about four knots, it said. So let's get ourselves set. It looks like this has thrusters. I forgot to mention to you guys, on our other boat, I ended up buying a freezer and side thrusters. And that's what these were. You could use the, um, the Z and the C keys to start up your thrusters. All right, so we got to get a little bit faster over here. It says four. All right, we're at 2.6. Let's bust it up a little bit higher here. This thing goes like 19, I think it said. So a little bit too fast, a little bit too fast. All right, let me go ahead and back it down a little bit. All right, there we go. We're going to have to do a boat tour too because this boat is freaking amazing. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, this beautiful beast. All right, we're right at about four knots. We're a little bit over, but we should be okay. Let's go ahead and throw everyone over here to the set and see what happens. They should be okay for the most part. There we go. Change to first person mode, exit the seat, move to the back of the bridge, and sit on the control deck. All right. So here we go. There's all our navigation to- Wow! Okay, hold on. We got some freaking tools now, people. Do I feel like extra short or are the seats just really high? I guess maybe the seats are just really high. All right, well, let's uh, let's wander on back over here. Do we have a sprint or anything? I don't think I do. Uh, go to the work deck. Does that bring me all the way back, I wonder? Look at this! What is this? Is this where I need to go? Oh, it is! Interact with the lever to your left to start trawling, okay? Oh, God. Uh, set trawl net. Sure. Oh, congratulations. You're now trawling. That wasn't that hard. You can interact with the two levers to your left and right in order to control the length of the warp liar. Warp wires. It's like freaking outer space. This determines the depth and lateral position of the trawl doors and the trawl net. Using the forward sonar on the screen in front of you, adjust the warp wire length until the trawl doors are at the same depth as the schools of fish. Later, you can purchase the door sensor and control, which will give you more active- Oh my god, okay, uh, give me a second, let me do this, I guess. Alright, you need to be very, very patient with this. If you're gonna notice, I think on the bottom right-hand side of that- that giant screen of power we have there, the big glaring thing is a school of fish. So what we have to do is we have to lower this trawling net down until it's like right- you know, in the middle, I guess, of that school, and then fix it out. So right now we're at 164 meters down and 146 meters down. You can see all the seagulls just following behind our net. It looks like we're almost gonna miss this school though, which is kind of annoying. Now there's another school right here that I'm trying to get low enough for. What the hell is that on the screen? Was that the friggin' Loch Ness Monster? What the hell? Look at it, it's taking up the entire screen, it's like a friggin' whale or something! Hold on, uh... Fix everything. Fix- Affix the- Affix the lines here. What in the holy hell is going- That's gotta be a whale or something. I can't see anything, it's so dark outside. <laughs> There's snow everywhere. Friggin' seagulls are- bouncing around left and right and I think something gigantic is oh mother of god it has completely ignited oh oh look at the fish going up holy crap maybe we found the school of the gods oh wow we really did find the school of the gods mother of Jesus uh yeah I want to keep trawling because we- No, no, no! I wanna keep trawling! Show me how much I'm reeling in, man! Oh, is it all gone? Alright, I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna do this thing over here. I'm gonna complete the task. Just because it wants me to do it. So let's, uh, let's set everyone over here to the hall. There we go. Now you need to reel in both warp lines. Interact with the two livers to your left and right until they're both angled toward you. 
The warp lines will be reeled in. Okay, I got it. I think I know what to do here. So do this. Here we go. That should be reeling them in right now. Yeah, the numbers are starting to go down. Things are happening. Uh, we're moving at about six knots right now, so we're going a little bit fast. I think I'm going to go ahead and like bring us bring us back a little bit into the four knot range right about. Everyone's stamina looks really good. This this doesn't use that much stamina, it appears. So now we just have to wait until we get this thing all the way reeled in. Oh, you can manipulate this whole screen. I actually want this like really big so that when we're kind of like sitting back, we can more easily see all the different fish and stuff like that. I kind of like that, though. So now... Yeah, see, now when I'm seated like this... What the hell? Hold on. Let me, uh... Let me just do something real quick. I just want to try something real fast. I'm very curious if we would be catching more fish right now because of the insanity that's... Oh, God! I was going to say, that's going on on the freaking screen right now. Look at this! While the trawling is coming in, let us take a look at the rest of the ship. I haven't messed with this. We got our coffee cups over here. Lovely dressers. What a workspace. Look at this kitchen area. There's our old boat right there. Looks just like a slightly better version of the one grandpa used to have. That lovable scumbag. Sorry we sold your boat, Pops. But look at what we're friggin' doing now. We're becoming millionaires out here. We have a... Oh, once the warp lines are within 25 meters of the ship, you can start hauling by interacting with the other lever to your left. When you do this, your crew will haul in the troll net. Oh, crap. Okay, well, let me head back over there real quick. I kind of left my captain station for a moment so I could check some things out. All right. So I think we're at 40 right now. It says the other lever. Oh. Haul in troll net. Oh, they can do it already? Okay. Do it! Everyone into freaking position. Raise the stern cra Once the net has been reeled all the way in, interact with the lever to your left to start the hauling. Okay, it, I think it's doing that now. So I assume everyone is getting into position as they need to be. Yeah, all the, look at all the chunks coming up in here. Oh, mother of Jesus. You have successfully hauled in your first trawl. When you're ready, you should head back to port. Okay. Well, oh. Oh. <laughs> Yes! Look at the fish! Look at how delicious! Does it just sit there or like, oh, it's still doing its thing. Hold on, it's lowering, okay. Uh, I, I mean, I, I guess I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let it go through the motions, man. I gotta tell you, fishing these days is amazing, it's all automated! Look at it! Okay, we got about 20,000 kilograms? That's not too shabby. All right! Heading on over to port. We're actually, like, halfway full. We can, uh, fit 20,000 kilograms. We have to head over to our old port, Hammer or whatever, and, uh, get some upgrades for this big beast, because we should be able to get some decent upgrades. Rolling on in to Hammerfeld or whatever the hell it is to see what sort of upgrades we can buy. Maybe it'll make trawling a little bit easier. Let's go over here to the dock. Go over here to the upgrades. We're probably gonna have this boat for quite some- Oh, mother of God, they are really expensive. That is a big amount of fish, though, that you can store. Holy crap. I'm probably gonna buy that. A lot of engine upgrades, that's pretty good. Radar upgrades, okay, that's good. Ooh, door sensor and control. Allows you to see the distance between the trawl doors and gives you a small amount of control over their movement. Yeah, I'd like that. Indicates that the net is more than 20% full. 40% full. Okay, so we can get all these extra centered. Then trawl eye detects the rate of fish mass entering the net, measures the height of the trawl opening, the height from the opening of the foot rope, and the bottom contact or clearance. Whatever. We're going to buy all this. I want all this crap. All right. We can now fit 195,000 kilograms of freaking fish. Also, look at the size of our boat compared to all the old boats. Mother of God, it's such an unwieldy beast, too. I have to watch out backing this thing up, otherwise, God forbid I hit something. All right, everyone, to your freaking battle stations. It's time to make money. Everyone over to the set trawl area. I want big fish coming up in here. We need to get out of the captain's chair. 
We need to head over to the lands of greatness. I'm pretty sure anyway. And once here, as everyone moves into position, we should be able to, let me see over here. Get the arrow keys to control the troll doors. Okay, so we do have some new controls over here. Set the net. All right. All right, everyone. Release the giant ass net. All right. Net's out. We've got, oh, mother of Jesus. Okay. I was going to say, it looks like we have a brand new screen over here. All right. Everything's starting to go out. Very good. Very good. Now, this can use, use the arrow keys to control the doors, okay? Oh, by the way, I increased the graphics for the uh, water. I found that there was an extra effect that we weren't using, so the water looks absolutely gorgeous now. Look at that boat, trawling in the, o in the open ocean. Sun rising in the background. Snowflakes looming around. Seagulls all over us. It looks friggin' sweet. All right, boys, you know how it is. Old Gray's out here rolling and trolling. I got my special screens over here. This shows us what the concentration of fish is going into the net. Those giant chunks out there are, in fact, whales. Uh, let me see if I can find them real quick for you. We were just lingering around just a little moment ago. We have several whales in the area. They're just kind of following us. Just hanging out while we're trolling. The heavier, the heavier the amount of fish we get in here, the more weight we have to pull as well. You can see right now we have the level 9 fish coming in here, however you want to say it. Level 9 amounts of fish, which is fantastic. Now, can I let everyone, I wonder if I can let everyone rest while I'm doing this. Because they don't need to set the trawl anymore. I don't need them to do that. I mean, I'm going to need them to haul it in when the time comes. But for right now, they could probably just go ahead and rest while I go and pilot this gigantic behemoth. We got another school over here. I think I should be able to point it in the right direction. You can drive while you're, uh, while you're trolling over here. Yep, there we go. Level 9 fish. Flowing into the net, just kind of moving the boat around it. You don't want to move it too much now because the net goes all haywire if you try and move the nets too much and the distance all gets all crazy. See how mine are kind of like cattywampus right now? I gotta let them get straightened out. But yeah, see our, our level amounts of fish going into the net are starting to go down. We're down to a measly four. We wanna, we wanna get that up to a nine. That little pointer right there shows us right about where we want the center of the mass of fish and then when the fish get real crazy into the net it fills up the entire screen over right, right like that there you go and just in that moment there all of the fish powers level up to 9,000 and we've got level 7 fish I don't know tenacity roll into the net we can go ahead and slow down a little bit here we're probably trolling a little bit too fast from what i've seen you want to keep it right to about three to four knots you don't need to go too fast out here in the open water all the freaking seagulls all my seagull like brethren following me all over the place we're sitting right at around four level four over there we got about 20 no about 14 maybe 13 percent of the net filled i want to get a little bit more of this net now that's a good that looks like a good school chunk right there. If we could go ahead and troll ourselves, or trawl ourselves, I'm sorry, troll. If we could trawl ourselves right into that, we should get a decent amount of fish. All right, we got a couple of decent sized schools of fish over here that we're kind of sort of catching. We're just barely kind of catching this school over here. This school just went past. We got a couple of fish from it. I was trying to steer us a little bit better into this school, but it's it's kind of like it's running away from the damn boat. It's hard to kind of manipulate on into the net over here. Right now, level four density of fish, concentration of fish starting to flow into this. Trawling is actually, um, it's surprisingly fun. Like, it's actually a little challenging. Just kind of like maneuvering the boat around and trying to get your speeds up and down and flip-flopping the net back and forth and trying to hit all these different schools and stuff like that. Like, we just barely caught the edge of that school over there. So because of that, we're only getting like a six on our uh, fish concentration coming into the net. I want to see if I can steer us 
into maybe some bigger and better schools. Well, I just caught so many fish in my net that my game crashed. Oh, it makes me so damn sad. There was a fantastic school. And then the game crashed. I mean, I guess I could try and get this, this school over here. We're kind of sort of going to hit it. Coming on the screen over here. My nets aren't exactly out where I want them, but it ain't bad. And there comes the mother freaking school. Where's our, um... Hold on here. There we go. I was gonna say, where's the, where's the, the, the fish, the fish o meter There we go. The fish o meters jumping up now with the concentration of fish. It should jump up to nine for a little bit over here. As we managed to hit that school pretty good, actually. You can see the net filling up quickly. But, man, I'll troll around for a little bit longer, but I can't believe that happened. That made me so sad. The fishing gods giveth. And the fishing gods taketh away. Makes me sad. We got a tiny little school over here that we're getting. There is a big ass school over here on what looks to be the starboard. I just don't know if I can reach it. We're capturing all of this school right here. Which is pretty good. It is right in the middle of our net. So we've got a 7 rate of fish right now moving into the net. We got something going on over here. Hold on. Do we have whales coming off the back or some such like that? I can actually feel the drag of the net as it becomes heavier, as we capture more fish, and then I have to put more torque. Upgrading this uh, engine is going to be, like, super important because I can already feel how quickly I lose power. Well, we've been joined by the freaking orcas. There they are right over here, sitting right next to us. You can see them on the screen. See the giant blips right there? There's all the orcas just kind of hanging around, screwing with my damn fish. That's all right, though. We had some really good schools before the crash happened. If I trawl long enough, I'm sure I'll get some more eventually. There we go. Now we're starting to get a couple of fish rolling in. Got some decent schools up ahead over here. Concentration of fish, five. Again, not fantastic, but it's better than a sharp stick in the eye. A couple of fish to take to the bank. I'm not going to hate on that. A couple of bigger schools laying around down here as well. The only issue is trying to predict their movement patterns. Sometimes I feel like it's just better to just go straight ahead instead of attempting to steer toward all these things. You can see we've got some decent stuff. There's a big concentration over here. It kind of looks like it's starting to move to this direction, the, um, I guess the port side of the ship. All right, we got another one rolling in over here. Concentration level four right now. It should go up quite a bit because we are right on target for that school right there. That looks just about perfect. It's not a super big school. It's not super concentrated, but it's not bad. Our buddies, the orcas, still hanging out right over there. Again, you can see them right there on the screen and there they are actually there is a pretty decent amount of school activity right in the middle of our uh, right in the middle of our uh, middle of our radar over here this is looking pretty good maybe we might be able to catch quite a few fish a trawl and we shall go getting level seven right now so yeah a lot of schools just kind of looming in here dropping up and down not like i said the concentrations Hit or miss right now, but realistically, let us take a moment to look at the friggin' glory of this game. All you seagulls, go piss off. You're screwing up all the fish, man. All the fish keep running away because you scumbags. I probably had too many seagulls spawn. This probably would crash the game the last time. But yeah, we're getting we're getting like a, a consistent amount of fish in. But to, to really hit it like we did that one time... That's what I want to have happen. I want that huge, like a huge mess of fish to go flying on in. All right, we're right about where we were before the crash. I've hit a couple of more decent sized schools. So the number of fish is kind of going up. We got a nice level nine concentration of fish over there. Our, my net's really kind of catty corner right now because I've been running around chasing after a giant school. Uh, it was it was pretty big, and that's what pretty much got us this entire 
portion right over here. So it wasn't too bad. We actually ended up catching quite a few fish from it. As I run around and understand more and more exactly how to aim this damn net up and how to how to more accurately position myself so that we can catch the fish we should be doing a lot better you can see we're still getting that level nine in is that saying 40 percent full what the hell did we catch inside of this net so far Ooh, it's happening again we caught the edge of another school I'm gonna go ahead and let this come in. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna haul in this line, just to see, just to see the size of the catch that we ended up getting, because this ended up turning from like a real crashy debacle into potentially a huge amount of sellable fish. I really want to know what we ended up doing. All right, let's go ahead and haul this in and just see what we ended up getting over here. I'm very curious. The crane moving on into position to pull a potential large amount of fish up. Let's go over here to the storage. Kind of want to see what we got. So right now we have about 11,000 kilograms of fish. Right now the net is going to be getting pulled in over here. All right, yep, net's coming in, net's coming in. There we go. 11, 10, 9, okay. All these seagulls are uh, pretty happy about this too, no doubt. So let's see there, okay, there's the doors. All right, go ahead and back up a little bit for this. I'm expecting a large chunk of fish. Look at the boat pull backward. That may be because of the waves too, I don't know. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Raise the stern crane. Lower the bow crane. Do it. Show me the fish. All right, and now for the fish pumping. And then we'll get to see how many we have. I'm hoping for a good, I'm hoping for a decent amount. I've been trolling out here for a little while, trawling. I keep saying trolling like I'm trying to, whoa, <laughs> 61,000 kilograms, 100 tons, the achievement. Holy crap. Okay, well, I guess we did all right. We're about half full. Um, well, we're a little less than half full. So we could probably do another excursion out here and get even more in the beautiful night sky overhead. The ship substantially heavier right now as when we bring this in, it will no doubt be our best sale. Hold on. I'm going to do it for you guys. We're going to come in here and we're going to sell. We'll see what we get. I'm not expecting like anything too crazy, but it is 73,000 kilograms of friggin' fish. So there is that. I've been at sea for a little while. Still have a lot of fuel, so I guess I shouldn't be too worried. Look at how tiny this port is compared to our boat. All right, let me roll on in here real quick. Rolling on in. Coming a little fast, but it's all right. As long as we have the dock thing, we'll be just fine. Oh, mother of God. Okay, we're at 2.3 million. Woo! 760,000 for that. That's not too shabby, man. If we can get a full ship's worth, we'll be making a lot of money. Guys, hope you're enjoying fishing. Bear and sea. We're lord of the fish over here already. I think I've only sold like one time, well, a couple of times to these people. But only one, two times now, I guess, with the trawling. Holy crap, though. Trawling is pretty slick. Feel free to let me know what you thought about in the comment section below. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.